G'day Adam, VK4GHZ. I've got an LTEC Flat Pack 2 48-2000 rectifier here. These are an industrial grade 2000 watt power supply. They're capable of delivering around 50 volts at 37 amps. They can actually be set to anything between 43.5 and 57.6 volts. So they can make an ideal power supply for things that need, say, a 48 volt rail, such as RF power amplifiers. They're designed to be hot swappable and slide into a sub rack. However, for standalone purposes, you can buy aftermarket PCBs to get the mains in, the DC volts out, and they have a CAN bus. A CAN bus is a serial port where you can configure the power supply and also get data out of it. Now to do that, I've developed a touchscreen based controller. The hardware itself is fairly simple. We have a CAN bus adapter board. That was five bucks from an Australian eBay store. They're a little bit cheaper if you can uh, get them out of China and can wait. I'm developing this with an Arduino Uno but I'll move the final version across to a smaller Arduino Nano. And we have the three and a half inch touchscreen. I love these things. They can give your projects a real modern edge. So there's no need to use old fashioned analog meter movements and push buttons. It's alive. All right, let's turn it on. Can hear the fan kick in. So now it's in the normal operating mode, the constant voltage mode, and after a little while the fan throttles back down in speed. Now by default, out of the box, these will be set to a voltage of 53.5 volts. Here we're displaying all the data that's available from the LTEC. We've got the AC input voltage, we've got the intake temperature, we've got the output temperature, which I'm assuming is just before the, uh, the fan. We've got the DC volts coming out and the load current. The uh, voltage tends to jump around a little bit. There's four to five samples per second. Um, so maybe some software averaging will, will fix that, or maybe it, it settles down a bit when there's actually a load on it. Now for a load that's constantly changing, such as an RF power amplifier being used with a single sideband transmitter, current is also displayed as a bar graph, which should make it easier to uh, interpret rather than constantly changing digit digits here. At the bottom left is an icon to show when the controller is logging into the LTEC. Logging into the power supply uh, regularly is required and this logs in every two seconds. These are greyed out because there's no alarms at the moment. Now a long press on the set button takes us to this screen and here we can adjust screen settings and here we can adjust the screen let me hold this here we can adjust the screen brightness and we can also set a screen saver time say um, we want it to dull the screen after 60 minutes so after 60 minutes the screen will dim to about two percent now we can also set the default volts long press here set default volts. Now remember the default voltage is 53.5 and in this application I want 48 volts. So we can adjust the slider down to 48.0 somewhere about there. Now we have two options here. We can set the default voltage so it takes effect next time the LTEC is powered up or we can make it take effect without having to power it down and we just have to wait. So I'll demonstrate that. Press set. So if we wait for this time, if we exit before this timeout, it will take effect next time the power supply is set up, it turned on rather. However, now, take effect straight away. And as you can see, it's ramping down to our new voltage. Now, it's easy to induce an alarm. <laughs> just simply turn it off. Alarm icons come on, and if we touch the alarm icons, we can see the message is low. There's low mains voltage, no kidding, and the fan 2 speed is low. Some of these LTECs actually come with two fans. This particular model just has one. So I'll turn it back on again. Goes back to no alarm conditions. So the fan uh, 
The fan is rather noisy when it first turns on, but then it'll throttle back. Now, as you can see, it's gone back to our 48 volt default startup, which is what we last set it as. Now, this controller will be powered by the LTEC itself, unlike it is at the moment. So that's going to involve a pre-regulator using a Zener diode and a series pass transistor, which will regulate that down to 39 volts. And then a commonly available 48 volt to 5 volt step down regulator based on an LM2596. The reason I'm using a 39 volt pre-regulator is because the input electrolytic capacitor on the step down board is only rated to 63 volts. And that's a little bit close to the LTEC's upper limit of what it can provide. So we need to build in some headroom. Something else you can do with all these elements here is change the colours, both text colour and background colour and the fonts. So all you need to do is just touch on any one of these. There's the sample of what was last displayed. So for instance, say you want to change that, let's, um, let's, let's do something completely different. Maybe, uh, maybe you prefer yellow, yellow text on a blue background and we'll change, that's a rounded font, so we can change it to a, a squarish font like so. Um, let's change the font there. Let's, let's, let's make this uh, hideous. Let's, um, how about that? Oh no, hang on. Something disgusting. There you go, magenta text with an orange background. So you can change all these different, uh, okay, let's change the message font. There you go. So all these elements are, are adjustable. Let's take it back to something half decent. Uh, Grey. Oh, I'll keep it like that. Now, another thing you can also do is adjust the voltage in 100 millivolt steps, both up and down, like so. So that can be handy if, um, say for instance, you're commissioning a new um, power amplifier and you want to start with a slightly lower voltage as, as you're, you're tweaking it, that's fine. Now this doesn't actually affect the default startup volts. That will always remain as, as the last set voltage, but this just allows you to tweak, tweak it in 100 millivolt steps within its, within, it, within, it, within its limits. And likewise, we can, we can go back up again. So there you go. That's the VK4GHZ LTEC Flatpak 2 controller.